One more race, and that's the drink commissioner. And as I understand it, uh, one of the candidates is Mark Green. Um, is the other candidate here? Mark, give us two minutes on your background and why the guy the heck do you want to be a drink? I was uh, told that there was nobody running on the Republican ticket, and I said that sounds like a good job, so I went ahead and signed up for it. <clears throat> and I have learned a lot, but uh, my background is I graduated from East Pumper School back in 1983. I uh, graduated at the top of my class. I'm number 65 out of 365 at Reese Buffer. Um, I went into the Navy, did four years as a hospital foreman, and then got out and worked for my dad in heating and air conditioning. I've been doing heating and air conditioning for 27 years. Um, as part of that, I've been uh, involved with my local association for heating air conditioning contractors and the state association and I've served as president of both the West Michigan and Michigan Air Conditioning Contractors of America and um, I like to fix things and that shows by my 27 years of being in heating air conditioning and um, I think that knowing how to fix things and, and knowing how to listen to people and is probably the most important part of the drain commissioner's job. And the other um, item is listening, or the, the most important thing is listening to people and serving because you are an elected official, official you're there to serve those people that have elected you, and that's probably the most important reason. I was asked to run, and if asked, you, I served. Uh, could you tell me, please, Mark, what you know about the ride drain in Twin Lake? Um, I have talked to a couple of the local people there, and <clears throat> that's probably the best example of overshooting for a solution that I've ever seen in, in all of the situations that I've heard about. Uh, the ride drain, it starts with a dam at Twin Lake and the water is controlling the level of the lakes and the people are complaining about the level of the lake. That dam dumps into a culvert, which is about three or 400 foot long and then it dumps into the actual ride drain itself. And <clears throat> I was talking to one of the locals there, <clears throat> and he informed me of what's really going on. Uh, the water goes over the dam, dumps into the culvert, you go to the other end of the culvert, and it's not coming out. The incumbent has a um, firm from Lansing come here and walk the whole drain and come back with a proposal to lower the whole drain from the culvert to where it dumps into Bear Creek um, by two feet, which means it's gonna lower all of those culverts from where it starts to where it dumps in, which is a few miles, by two feet. So obviously that's gonna be an expensive solution and uh, the most and what he told me is and he used some expletive, expletive deleters that I won't use but if there's water going in and it's not coming out of the other end of that pipe the pipe is broke that should be taken care of first and there's a 75 foot drop from that point where it leaves Twin Lake to the point where it um, goes into the creek uh, there's plenty of eleva elevation change there for water to flow. The pipe needs to be fixed. That should be addressed first. Any more questions from Mark? We've got time for one more. Yes, sir. Is there any local contractors that can fix it so they won't land in the rapids? There are several uh, engineers, and there are 
several contractors that are available to work and take care of the drains. I've talked to a gentleman the other day that, well, he happens to be a customer of mine. Um, he's been cleaning drains for longer than I've been around. Um, and there's a lot of people that can take care of them right here in Muskegon, and a lot of great engineering firms that can take care of them right here in Muskegon. Thank you, Mark. Uh, that's our time. Um, let me uh, let me wrap this up, though, Mark. Thank you very much for coming up. I hope you can stay for a few minutes and answer some of the questions that hands went up there. So, once again, thank you to the candidates. Let's give them all a big round of applause.